What's up everyone? So finally got these uh, Cannonball 2406 2020 motors that I've been kind of talking about um, after I would say probably two months of testing or so. Um, I really wanted to find something else uh, in the market that wasn't available. Uh, now, not sure why, not sure if it's been tested before and maybe uh, whoever tested it didn't like it. But anyway, the, the normal motors that we tend to use nowadays, 2306, 2207 is, is the more popular sizes. Uh, these are some of my favorite, uh, the Hype Trains, Brother Hobby R6. Uh, I've tried these uh, Sunny Sky. I'm also running the Vanover uh, 2207 and a half. Uh, all great motors, but I've always felt like they lack a little bit of that um, control of the of the prop. Like they've got crazy amounts of power, you know, way more power than you know 99% of us need. Um, and uh, you know, as the race, as the saying in, in racing car goes, uh, power is nothing without control. So I've been trying to search for uh, a way to you know keep that that power but be able to control it a little bit more in a linear fashion um, to handle the prop a little bit better and I, I thought a lot about how you know in a four inch build for example like a 1407 or 1408 motor tends to get really really hot on anything else other than like a bi blade four inch um, and if you go just even to like a 1506 or a 1507 right away it handles the prop a lot better even though uh you know it's about the same stator volume if you go if you compare it to a 1407 to a 1506 or a 1507 to a 1408 it's about the same stator volume but the the, the little bit wider stator just handles the prop uh the higher loads a lot more efficiently um translates into a lot less heat easier to tune easier to to fly harder and faster so I thought, you know, well, I mean, we're pushing these systems so hard and, you know, all these motors that I fly and, and they're great, but every time I come down, they were scorching and, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, it's really hard to even hold them. Um, and obviously that's decreasing the lifespan of, of the bearings, the magnets, uh, the motor itself, and it makes it harder to tune, especially, you know, for, for the racers that are running the, uh, the absolute kind of limits, uh, of, of all these systems so what I've arrived at is these uh, 2406 2020 KV and if I can get it out of the box here here you can see it got my uh, my logo on there um, this is obviously manufactured by brother hobby based on their popular R6 design um, a few things that I asked for that the R6 doesn't have is like the lip here to hold the magnets in, uh, gives it a little bit, um, you know, more reliability. Obviously it has the prop grip, which, uh, this one does as well. Um, so anyway, what I want to do is, um, a lot of the feedback I get, well, Hey, that's, a, you know, good idea, but that motor is going to be way too heavy for racing. You know, 2406 motor, that's a beast of a motor and well, you'd be surprised. I mean, it's uh, it's roughly 3% more total stator volume than a, you know, a 2207. Um, so what I've got is here a variety of motors that I like, that I've tried. Um, so this here has, you know, full 160 mil of uh, motor wire, which obviously no one's going to use. So what I've done is I've cut down um, to 4 and one AC length. This is what I cut on my motors, which is about 60 mil of wire. So we can just weigh that here, uh, if I can get it all on there. Okay, so that's like uh, 1.8 grams, so I'm just going to tear, get that off. And then we're just going to put this motor on there. There we are. And we're looking at a, basically a 32 gram motor. So, okay, how does that compare? Sunny Sky, this is a beast of a 2207. This is a, th oh, well, it's, and here, and it's, it's got a tear on it already, so. Anyway, and this already has the 4-in-1 ESC length wire that I use. Same cut down as this length. So, this is 
a hefty motor, 37 grams. You might say, okay, well, it's a different manufacturer, different construction. Okay, so here's the Brother Hobby R6 based on the same design as this. 2207 this is one of the lightest motors on the market uh, in its size class basically the same exact weight okay roughly three percent more total stator volume same exact weight this is another favorite of mine the hype train this is uh, a 35 grand motor i think this is based on kind of like a f60 pro or like t motor manufacturers it so really no, I don't think it's 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 a heavy motor, um, and obviously going with this KV, uh, the actual tested KV came in quite a bit lower, uh, around 1940, so it's not outrageous. Um, and what that does is it opens up the possibilities for um, the the different setups. So I've been running this on. Um, 6S mainly, I like to use a three position switch for some throttle caps if, if needed, but you know, at 100% throttle, this does really well on, you know, lighter 5043, 5045, 51, you know, mid 40s uh, props. This is fantastic. Um, you know, on a heavier prop, you might want to go down, um, you know, in the 85% range on the throttle, or if you, if, you know, if you're feeling like uh, doing some speed runs, yeah, run it 100%. Um, I certainly do um, most of the time. Um, or I've been running this on five and a half and six inch props on five S and it, it's absolutely amazing because you know the, the wider stator just really really handles the bigger uh, heavier props um, Much much better and it's so freaking smooth. So Anyway, I've got some testing that I uh, have done out uh, on the field um, So I'll just cut to that a little bit of flying and uh, let you guys uh, Enjoy uh, that footage and decide for yourself. So here's the motor 6s what's your throttle you doing any caps on your i throttles? got i got three positions right now i got a, a 70 um 85 and 100 so it just depends on how you want to fly it you know um i've been trying them both or all of them and they they all have their place you know like to learn tracks on the throttle cap and then once i'm trying to really go for it um then you go 100%. So no desyncs with 100% with that high KV and success. Nothing, nothing. Right now I'm running uh, 23 degrees timing, uh, DMAG on high, uh, 48 kilohertz on DSC, and that seems to be kind of a really good balance. Um, I've had issues if I run on auto timing. Um, Which I've, ESC are you running? This is the the Pyro Flip, uh, the F3 ESC, 32 uh, bit. Um, I've had really good luck with this one. And with the hobby wing um the new one that just came out so those are my two go-to's which i have in all my quads so we'll give it a go here you gonna link up some dvr too oh yeah to run low 12s this is the uh, yeah you were doing 12 twos a little yeah, while ago 12, 12 two, and, and this is what the mid-america qualifier track mid-america yeah throw down track yeah so yeah they're, i mean they're super smooth whether 21.7 doing it for uh for racing for freestyle
16, six. And just like that, running them so hard, they just they barely come down any uh, any warm. I mean, really, it's just kind of lukewarm. You can you can pick them up and hold it. I mean, it's literally. I wish I had like a a, a heat gun, temperature gun, because this is the coldest motors I've ever felt on really aggressive filtering on a flight one board yeah. uh, running Falco X. Uh, which runs really aggressive filtering. And maybe and tell these guys like just, uh, if you're not going full send with 6S, what I found. Yeah, okay, so the other thing is I do have uh, this setup as well. Now, this has six inch arms and what I like to do with this is either run a five and a half inch prop on 5S or a six inch prop on 5S as well. And then you can do a little bit of the throttle cap and it flies unbelievable as well. Um, it handles that, like I said, it handles the, those bigger props uh, a lot nicer than the narrower stator motors and um, it's just really, really enjoyable. They've been so good. I've been really, really happy. I was a bit unsure how uh, this size motor would, would be, um, especially on, you know, the, the newer trend of... Um, I love it because I yeah. was running a, a different KV with 4S and 6S and I've tried everything. These I can run on 5S at 100% with no throttle limit, yeah. and it feels like a 2500 kV motor to me. Yeah, that, that's what it would more or less uh, equate to. With If you go 5S, it'd be the same as like a, a 2500 4 so you still got plenty of power, and then you have you just have potential to step up if you want it, right? Yeah. So you don't have to, um, you know... The bottom it, end feel is what I love the best it, It's just these. so, it's so linear, right? It's That's the one thing I wanted to get away from is on a like a 2207 motor um it's it's like an on and off switch so it's 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 really hard it's like a two-stroke power band <laughs> yeah it's it's got so much top end which is it's great if you're running you know on huge tracks but most of the tracks we run on or for freestyle you know you spend a lot of the time in that mid range of the mid you know to uh you know 75 percent range of the throttle where you're gonna want to have that torque to handle big loads uh you know and, and hard maneuvers and, and stuff like that where you know in a 2207 if you're not on the higher end of the throttle it just it, it's really hard to control um obviously for the really fast guys the non-humans as i call them they uh they're always full throttle so it doesn't matter to them <laughs> but yeah. you know for us guys that you know i need that good mid yeah so feel. yeah so we need a little bit more of a handicap <laughs> you know these have been so freaking good. I'm, I'm so happy with them. They came out. They look really nice. Where can we find these? So these right now, um, Neil uh, Whitney from Catalyst Machine Works, he just bought um, almost the entire batch that I that I ordered. Uh, so he's selling them. Uh, you funded this out of pocket, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was I was looking for, for a motor that didn't exist and um, did a lot of testing, a lot of studying. Uh, asked a lot of questions. I got some great feedback. I got some skepticism as well. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, if, if you want to do something right, you got to do it yourself. So so here we are, and I, I couldn't be happier uh, of the end result. So I'm really, really happy with these.